Meanwhile, a petition has surfaced seeking support from residents to have Premier Dr. Orlando Smith stop the implementation of NHI and take the plan back to the drawing board. Social activist Shawande Uhuru is among those spearheading the petition. Minister for Health and Social Development Ronnie Skelton, in a statement to the House of Assembly on September 3rd, said they recognize the need to continue to educate and inform the community of the NHI's system design requirements and benefits. He said the public education campaign will continue to be rolled out over the next several months to provide more information address and address new concerns. He also addressed the belief by some that universal health care could be achieved by government offering insurance to only those who are without private health insurance. The minister said extensive studies have all concluded that a single pool system is the only sustainable option for universal health insurance in the Virgin Islands. Madam Speaker, I think it is fair to say that some of, this, some of the dissenting views being expressed about the specific design features of the NHI can be expected in any healthy democracy. There are some who still hold to the belief that universal coverage could have been achieved by simply offering a government plan to those without private insurance. One can understand, Madam Speaker, why that concept will seem appealing on the surface. But deeper look, a deeper look revealed disturbing realities in several countries that have traveled this path, Madam Speaker. Government plans were typically settled with residents that had the highest disease burden and the least ability to pay. Madam Speaker, a recipe for financial disaster. When subsequent legislation was passed to prohibit private insurance companies from turning away recipients with pre-existing conditions, the premiums in this category were extraordinarily high. Madam Speaker, after years of research and analysis, taking into consideration our size, population demographics, and economic structure, extensive studies have all concluded, extensive studies have all concluded, Madam Speaker, that full participation in a single pool system is the only sustainable option for universal health insurance in the Virgin Islands. Similar to one's Social Security contribution, NHI membership is fixed at 7.5% of income, which will be shared on a 50-50 basis between employers and employees. Unemployed individuals who cannot afford to pay for NHI coverage would be assessed by the Social Development Department for assistance. If assessed to be indigent or unable to contribute, government will be responsible for paying this contribution to ensure coverage under the NHI. The implementation of the National Health Insurance Plan is plugged as an essential step to meet the health care needs of residents of the Virgin Islands. Employer and employee registration process began on September 1st and is ongoing. Residents once registered can begin to access health care services through the National Health Insurance System from January 1, 2016. To find out more about the NHI registration process, you can visit the NHI.